everyone, and welcome to week three. Today we're going to be sharing a news to you article on some good news. And this is going to be really fun, and I hope that you can look into uh, all these other videos on YouTube or um, do a Google search and kind of lift your spirits up with some really fun videos that people are putting out there. So here we go. I'm going to read to you, read along. Some good news. Actor John Krasinski has a show on YouTube called Some Good News. John talks about good news on the show to share happiness. John posted a new video on May 3rd. The new video is about graduation. Many students will graduate this year, but students will not have a typical graduation ceremony. Many ceremonies have been changed because of the coronavirus. John wanted to celebrate graduating students and made a video. Other videos have been about cooking, thanking hospital workers, and prom. John often has guests on his show, including actor Stephen Carell, singer Belle Eilish, Billie Eilish, and astronaut Jessica Meir. Many people enjoy these videos. I'm going to show you a little bit of the video and let me know what you think of it. Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to SGN. I'm John Krasinski, and boy, just when I thought being five episodes in, we were really hitting our stride and pretty much immune to any semblance of criticism, along comes the internet and says, hi, remember me? So without further ado, it's time for us once again to get straight to the notes. And at first, the criticism came in merely at the level of a good schoolyard ribbing through tweets like this one from David Harris, who writes, I'm a big, big fan of some good news, though you're spinning the globe the wrong direction in your opening. Or this one from Elliot M. John Krasinski, I love this show. Wondering, in addition to the awesomeness, if you could spin the globe in the proper direction for the opening. Counterclockwise, looking down. But then things quickly escalated to passive aggressive when Greg wrote, did the astronauts happen to mention that you're spinning the globe the wrong way? <laughs> Thanks, Greg. Well, that ignited Elliot M to fire shot number two with the globe, the globe, please just spin it the other way. That's all that stands between SGN and perfection. But the levy finally broke when Melanie from Northwestern North Carolina wrote, I can't stand it anymore. The fate of our world is resting in your hands. Correct the rotational spin of the globe in the opening credits of SGN. Well, though the bluster was more than slightly hurtful, the message was received loud and clear. The problem was, how do I fix it? <laughs> Lucky for me, my deepest fears of the internet conspiring against me came true, as my two seemingly greatest enemies finally came together. The day science teamed up with fan art. I'm John Krasinski. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. This is SGN. Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to SGN. I'm John Krasinski, and now that our opening is not only accurately portraying science, but also my very own personal dance moves, it's time for some good news. And heading into week six, the world had certainly found its stride, as good news could be found everywhere. In Troutman, North Carolina, lives one of the biggest Jeep fans of all time. His name is Caleb, and he just turned eight this week. Not wanting quarantine to ruin his birthday, his mother simply posted on a message board to see if anyone wanted to help make her son's day a special one. Well, she got a few responses. We had a great turnout today, and we ended up with 310 Jeeps. Great outpouring of support for a special kid. This is the best birthday present ever. Speaking of birthdays, last week we covered the incredible story of Captain Tom Moore, who single-handedly has now raised over 36 million pounds for NHS charities. The even more incredible story? He turned 100 this week. And, well, he got the birthday wishes that a hero deserves. In Hertfordshire, England, this family found out the Olympics were canceled. Their response? Nah. Once you get on, just shuffle back. That's it. 
In Albany, California, these two little girls had the simple yet game-changing idea of simply going out into the street and shouting compliments at people. Sadly, no video footage exists, so we here at SGN had to make our first dramatic recreation. Hey, your shirt matches your dog. I like that about you. They could also be heard yelling this. I don't know if you have hair under that hat, but if you do, I'll bet it's beautiful. And perhaps my very favorite compliment was this. Your dog's face is almost as cute as my face when I was a baby. In Watertown, Massachusetts, after 61 years of being married, one 88-year-old man didn't take kindly to the idea that he wasn't allowed to see his bride in her nursing home. The only problem was her room was on the third floor. When he got up top there, you know, they kind of put their hands on the screen of the window. At that point, I teared up. I asked my, my wife, how much do you love me? And she said, more than you know. In New York City, outside hospitals, police and fire departments have applauded their healthcare heroes every single night at 7 p.m. Well, this week, one FDNY firefighter decided to take his gratitude to a whole new level. And having absolutely nothing to do with anything, but quite possibly the best news story of the year, I'm finally an action figure. And it's time once again for a check on the weather. Ryan, how's it looking out there? Looks, uh, looks pretty good. Thanks, Ryan. Well, this week's I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of that. We're going to go ahead and uh, put this on a link onto our page so you guys can watch the whole thing because it's really exciting. And what I want you to think about when you're watching this is all of the good news, all of the great things that people are doing all over the world right now. So um, maybe you can think about something you can do for other people. Like the little girl who said compliments. She didn't have to, to go anywhere to buy anything. She just told people nice things and brightened their day. So all over the world right now, people are doing things to brighten each other's spirits during this tough time. And some good news is really fun to watch and it gives you some great ideas on how you can brighten people's days and spread the good news. So just like our classroom, that we're always trying to do nice things and spread joy for people, I think this is a good, a good thing for you to watch and I think you'll really enjoy it. So I'm gonna get out of this now. Spring has finally sprung. Back to our News to You article of the day. Um, here he is again, John Krasinski. And if you've noticed him, he was on a TV show called The Office. Maybe you've seen it before. Uh, he's not on it anymore, but he was on it. And so now he does this out of his home because he's quarantined just like the rest of us. So he tapes that right there in his office. That makes me think maybe one of you could get your iPad and tape yourself talking about some good news out of your house and you could make a sign behind you just like John has. People all over the world are doing that now. So I want you to think about this week, how you can spread some good news and give some joy to all the people in your lives. I want you to know I'm thinking about you every day and um, we're going to go into black holes also this week. So I want you to think about all the things that you can do during this week to uh, work hard, spread joy, and have a great day. Miss you all.